Hey guys, it's David. Um, I want to come on here real quick and address some conversations that have been going on on the internet. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 YouTubers who went broke. About a year ago, I was in pretty heavy water. <laughs> I think I was about 50 grand. 40 or 50 grand in debt. For this list, we'll be looking at YouTubers who have encountered significant financial woes, either by losing large sums of money or facing channel demonetization and viewer decline as a result of controversy. Do any of these creators deserve a second shot at stardom? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Esme Denters Contrary to popular belief, Justin Bieber wasn't the first musician to go viral. In the mid-2000s, Dutch singer Esme Denters got discovered after uploading covers to her YouTube channel. The rest is still She was signed to Justin Timberlake's label Tenman Records, and he also appeared on her song Love Dealer and produced her debut album Out of Here. Unfortunately, Denters was unable to keep up the momentum, getting dropped by the label in 2012. Although she continued to pursue music, seeing a brief stint on The Voice UK in 2015, she never quite managed to recapture the same magic. That said, Denters isn't crying a river. In 2018, she took to Instagram with a cover of Timberlake's song Say Something and expressed gratitude for the opportunity. Number 9. Overboard Humor This prankster's downfall is definitely not a funny story. While his official net worth is unknown, Garrett Garcia was once considered a YouTube millionaire thanks to his seven-figure subscriber count. You mad, bro? No. What's going on? Uh. On his channel, Overboard Humor, he was known for making inappropriate comments to strangers in public, much to their chagrin and his viewers' entertainment. But just a few years after his peak of reaching YouTube millionaire status, Garcia fell on rough times. Are you homeless right now? Um, I am more of a hobo, a traveling worker. So you're homeless by choice? Yeah. At his lowest, the creator found himself homeless outside of Los Angeles after a volatile relationship. He was even forced to sell his gold play button he earned for the subscriber milestone. However, Garcia has more recently featured in fellow YouTuber Danny Mullins' videos and appears to be doing much better. You've been sheltered for a while now. Are you still living in the, the broom closet? No, uh, we moved in with her parents uh, a couple months ago. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing, dude. Number 8. Thomas Halbert From catfights with their fellow beauty gurus to caring for their actual cats, Thomas Halbert stayed embroiled in controversy. In 2018, they became entangled in the beauty community's implosion, dubbed Dramageddon, after igniting a feud with Jeffree Star. Uh, and I'm not going to say this person's name only because we all know who it is. We all know who it is. But that wouldn't be the last time Halbert courted scandal. The following year, they took to Twitter to ask viewers to donate to their cat Archie's emergency vet fund. But it was I, money you didn't have. It was, it was money, it was money I didn't you have. didn't have. So, it was money I did not have. So, so I asked for the GoFundMe. In the tweet, they claimed to have less than $100 to their name and preemptively defended themselves against scamming accusations. This didn't sit well with some people, as Halbert was quite popular and publicly asking for money conflicted with the lifestyle they presented on their channel. You did not buy yourself a $4,000 computer ever. I bought myself a $5,000 computer last year, but not a $4,000. When was that? That what? was March of last year. March of last year. So that was before, that was, that was when you were making a lot of money and you yeah. thought you were going to continue to make a lot of money. Meanwhile, others defended them given the outrageous cost of medical bills regardless. Number 7. Count Dankula When it comes to pranksters paying the price, this counts was a pretty penny. 
Mark Meachin, also known as Count Dankula, found himself in serious trouble and even got an innocent dog roped into the drama. What's funny about that? The context of it is the juxtaposition of having an adorable animal react to something vulgar. That was the entire point of the joke. In 2016, Meachin trained his girlfriend's pug to make a certain salute and uploaded a video of the obscene command. In the couple's native Scotland, this falls under posting offensive material, which is punishable by law. The public response to the video was actually uh, kind of overwhelmingly positive. Uh, obviously, there was a lot of people that didn't find the video funny, and I completely understand that. Meachin claims the act was an inside joke with his girlfriend, and famous comedians and far-right figures alike supported his right to free speech. Nevertheless, he was fined £800, which he refused to pay and instead donated to charity. The money was seized from Meachin's account anyway, ending the debate of the prejudiced pug. The cops had actually seized the £800 straight out of my bank account. Number 6. Olivia Cara California vlogger Olivia Cara has made two videos spilling the worst financial decisions she made in her 20s. So we are gonna talk today about the biggest financial mistakes that I've made in my 20s. Maybe I should be a little older for this. I'm 24 right now, but I've made so many financial mistakes. In the uploads, Cara was fully open about living beyond her means by leasing a Range Rover, renting an apartment she couldn't afford, maxing out credit cards, and attending expensive attractions like Coachella and Disneyland. But I still wasn't feeling it regardless, so I kind of knew like, okay, like this was a waste of money, cool. Even though these weren't the best choices at the time, mad respect to Cara for admitting her mistakes, growing from them, and allowing her past to serve as a cautionary tale for impressionable viewers. You don't have have to have anything designer. Like, I don't think I own, like, one thing designer. Number 5. David Dobrik Far more than most creators, the Vlog Squad ringleader seemed primed to break out beyond YouTube. At the peak of David Dobrik's channel, he was pulling in tens of millions of views thanks to A-list collabs with Kylie Jenner and Justin Bieber. What do you think about Justin Bieber? Oh, so, I love him. I wanted to marry him, honestly. I'm <laughs> I'm sad. I'm honestly sad about Haley. It's okay though. You want to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Things came to a screeching halt in 2021 when news outlet Insider uncovered 2018 sexual assault allegations towards his fellow squad member Dom Zaglitis or Dirty Dom. It sounds you know? like in the idea of the video, it's just kind of a mistake that it. For sure, yeah, it was, it was a big mistake. It, it was like the whole know? thing was just it just wasn't a good idea, yeah. right? Yeah, it just, kinda, it just wasn't very. It just doesn't seem like it was like super thought through. Although Dobrik addressed the claims in an apology video, fans were unsatisfied for several reasons. It was rather vague, posted on a smaller side channel, and the comments were turned off. I don't align with some of the actions, and I don't, I don't stand for any kind of misconduct, and I, I'm, I was just. I've been really disappointed by some of my friends. Several brands dropped him, and his channel was demonetized following the scandal. While he later returned to the platform, Dobrik has yet to reclaim his relevance in the YouTube zeitgeist. Number 4. Omi in a Hellcat From reality TV to TikTok, flex culture is seemingly everywhere. But just because someone flaunts a certain lifestyle through the screen, it doesn't mean you have the whole story. Bill Omar Carrasquillo, also known as Only in a Hellcat, blew up on YouTube by showing off his luxury car collection. As much as I didn't want to get rid of it, I might get rid of this and get a McLaren. Just not to have too many Lamborghinis laying around. Because I, I got four Lamborghinis. However, it all came crashing down. In 2023, Omi was convicted on counts of conspiracy, money laundering, fraud, tax evasion, and more in a cable piracy scheme. I wouldn't have had this issue if, if I wouldn't have created the service. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That is a fact. I wouldn't have had this issue if I would have paid my taxes. Well, I would have had less of an issue. Some sources have estimated his net worth at $50 million. But following court orders, $30 million in assets will be forfeited, as well as $6 million in cash and several of his cars. It sucks to, to lose my house, to lose properties, money, all my cars, you know, my jewelry. 
It's an embarrassment. If you're ever feeling insecure about your used Honda, just be thankful for your clean conscience. Number 3. James Charles As far as his YouTube earnings go, this beauty guru has had to say, Bye, sister! Since rising to fame in 2016 as CoverGirl's first male spokesmodel, James Charles' online career has been a roller coaster of scandals and drama. I will not ask for sympathy, and I will definitely not ask for forgiveness either, but I will ask that you watch this entire thing all the way through before forming any further opinions or talking about the story more. And while his feuds with fellow creators Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook were certainly insane, they were just the tip of the iceberg. In 2021, multiple young boys alleged that Charles had sent them explicit photos and groomed them via text. I think it's very important that I get on camera and talk to you guys honestly about what is going on. He responded in an apology video where he claimed not to know their ages, but the damage was already done. Besides YouTube demonetizing Charles' channel, cosmetics company Morph parted ways with him. First and foremost, I need to say sorry. Um, I owe a massive apology to anybody that I've hurt or anybody that I've made uncomfortable with my actions. Considering Forbes reported he earned $5 million on ad revenue annually, Charles's once thriving brand took a major hit. Number 2. Boogie2988 From gaming to boxing, this career YouTuber has worn many hats since his start on the platform in 2006. That being said, one he probably won't be trying anytime soon is a financial advisor. In 2022, Stephen J. Williams, also known as Boogie2988, uploaded a video titled I Need Your Help, in which he admitted to struggling with money and asked followers for support. This is a video I've dreaded making, but it's time, so I'm asking for your help as we head into the holiday season. Not happy about it, but here we are. While even big creators can fall in hard times, viewers found it disingenuous as Boogie had previously bragged about how much money he made off his channel. I got to see some multi-million dollar YouTubers who've made more in a single month than I have on, in my 16 years on this platform punch down and make fun of me for asking for help. Some criticized his past spending and saving habits, while others doubted he was even in financial ruin after all. Either way, the video was received as just another in a long line of boogie blunders. I'm sorry if you're mad, I just, I don't have the effort or the time to care anymore. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Andrew Hales Not every YouTuber's financial sob story goes over like a lead balloon. In 2021, YouTuber Andrew Hales, or Loth, put it all out there with a video titled, How I Became Broke. Let's see, how I became broke. <laughs> In the tell-all upload, Hales walked his viewers through all the money mistakes he made after hitting it big with his pranks and interviews. He admitted to finding himself $40,000 to $50,000 in debt by traveling and partying too much, paying for an apartment he couldn't afford, taking out credit cards, and getting lazy with his uploads. I partied too much and I got lazy and less focused and didn't upload as much. Uh, that's the short answer. I didn't manage my money wisely. Unlike other creators' wallet woes, Hales's confession went over considerably better. It felt authentic and straight from the heart, and he took responsibility for his position without making excuses. YouTube kind of just spoiled me, and I just kept, um, I don't know, I guess I thought it would last forever. <laughs> but it started to go down and down and down. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.